Hey everybody, it's Robert here today. So maybe you live in a house like this, or like this, or like this. Or maybe yours looks like this, or like this. But your dream is to live in a house like this. Today, I'm going to discuss, I'm gonna go back to my computer and show you how you can afford a house in the top cities where prices are close to a million or above a million dollars. We're going to explore the how much money you need to make the down payment that you need, what could be your potential interest rate, and finally will be your monthly payment that includes your PITI. So let's go back to the computer and take a look. Let's go. So now we're back in the computer. So we are now going to take a look at what you can really afford in any of these cities. So the way I've done it, it's I have picked up a few cities that I want to talk about. So here is the order of the cities that I want to pick up. And these are cities on the higher end of the spectrum before I did a video recently where I talk about other cities and you can see the video right here that are more affordable or the most affordable in Montgomery County. Today, I'm going to talk about the cities that are probably the most expensive here in the Montgomery County area. So uh, the order that I have decided to go, it is Bethesda, Potomac, Chevy Chase, Rockville, North Potomac and Darnstown, which North Potomac and Darnstown are very close to each other. So let's just dive right in. So in order to qualify to buy a house like this in this area, I'm going to break it down in a couple of things. Number one is the and these numbers, the numbers I'm going to use here are based on 2023 um, sales price. So Bethesda comes at an average sales price of one point two five million dollars. The calculations I'm doing, it's based on a 7.5% interest rate. Everybody's different. I know that probably interest rates are maybe a little bit lower than that, but I'm just going to do it on an average of 7.5% interest rate and a 20% down payment in order for someone to be able to afford to buy a house like this one. So let's take a look right now. What kind of salary do you really going to need to buy a house in Bethesda? So this property here right now, it's it's a 1.425. So this is a very nice house that it's on the, on the market right now. It's a, it's a gorgeous property. And here's the breakdown on this property. So for Bethesda, the average sales price is 1.25540. So the down payment that you're probably going to need is going to be about $250,000. This is on average homes. Now, if we do this one right here, you're probably going to need a lot more down payment for this one. So for this particular house, you're going to need about $285,000 in the down payment. It's a pretty high down payment that you're going to need, but let's just stick with the average numbers. So with the $250,000 that I gave you on an average for a $1.2 million property, your annual taxes are probably looking to be about $15,000 to $20,000. Your homeowner's insurance, which by the way, they are going up in price. I'll probably do a video down the road about to talk about uh, the price of um, hazard insurance it's about three thousand dollars for a house like this and if you end up having some hoa fees so you're probably looking at a property that near fifteen hundred dollars so the income needed to purchase a house like this it's about four hundred and thirty thousand dollars yes you heard it right about a four hundred and thirty thousand dollars that will be the income that you're going to need to buy a house like this but now let's just do the math here uh, on the computer. Let's calculate a mortgage. So I come down to the same property. You see $1.4 million, 20% down payment. This one has it at a little bit higher, lower interest rate. Let me modify this interest rate. So mortgage insurance, you're probably not going to be paying. Property taxes, this is a monthly fee. Uh, home insurance, HOA. So you're looking at about $9,479 a month that you need to have in order to qualify to buy this kind of property like the one right here. So income needed again, it's about $430,000. Don't take a run. Bethesda is a beautiful city that you will love with plenty of restaurants, shopping, entertainment, and of course, good jobs, good hospitals, a lot of government agencies. So if you're looking to make a move to the area, this is a place that you might want to consider. So let's jump to the very next place, next city, which is going to be Potomac, Maryland. Okay, Potomac, Maryland, what I did is as of last year, I did an average sales price of about $1.4 million. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right now 
to Potomac, Maryland. So this is one property that is coming on the market. It's actually one that is listed by my team, and this is going to be hit the market this uh, this year. So let's talk about how much it's needed in order to qualify to buy a house in Potomac, Maryland. So if we go back to the property here, uh, we're going to take a look at the calculation of payment. So let's just come down calculation of payment way down, 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 down right here payment calculator so let's break this down so 1.595 you need about 319,000 that's your 20 percent down payment 30 year fixed i'm going to base it off my uh, numbers that i did before um, for that property and uh, taxes home insurance let's say if you have an hoa of course i cannot include your utilities so a house like this it costs you about ten thousand six hundred and $10. That's insane, right? That's insane. Now, it's a gorgeous house. Don't take it wrong. It's not because it's one of my listings here, but it's a gorgeous house. So this and now the income needed to buy a house like this, it's a little close to half a million dollars, $494,000. That is the income that you're going to need to purchase a house like this. Now, as I said before, I've done other videos where I talk about more affordable houses here in Montgomery County. And you're more than welcome to watch that video today. I just want to say people said like, how can people afford to buy these million dollar houses? Well, here's your answer. That's how they can afford to do that. So now we're going to jump to the next one was going to be Chevy Chase, Maryland. So we're going to go to the city of Chevy Chase right now. So Chevy Chase, we have this beautiful house uh, listed at 1.695. My average sales price in Chevy Chase, Maryland for 2023 in single family homes, it was a $1,304,000 with an average down payment of 260,000, annual taxes about $20,000, home insurance, it was close to um, 5,000 a year. And if you have HOA fees, um, would probably give you about, you know, $1,600. So we'll see how much money. So we'll be the, let's just take a look at how much you're going to have to pay for a house like this. So for this one, one, six, 20%, 30 year fix. Again, I'm going to go to this interest rate because I know things have been a little bit bumpy property taxes, homeowners insurance. You need about 11. It's your monthly payment will be $11,275 a month. So that means for you to do that, you need to bring home $451,000 of income. That is gross income that you have to make in order to afford a property like this type. Yikes. So it gets, it gets a little bit crazy sometimes. Um, so now we're going to move to the next one. So now I am in the city of Rockville and the reality is city of Rockville also has all kinds of things. Now for last year, city of Rockville has what it is all Rockville 2085, 52, 51, 50, and then you have 53. But then what happens with 2052, it is close to Bethesda and now they call it North Bethesda. So for this one, I probably got to show you um, two things uh, for this property. So. Um, I have this one that it is closer to the 800,000, um, 900,000 price point. And then there is another one that it is a little bit higher that is also in Rockville. So you see, this is 1.199 and the other one on all stage, it is a million 25. Now there are some other houses just for you to look at. So there are other houses here, other prices that we could also compare that are and much higher too. But if we stay within that close to the number I mentioned, this it will be probably the type of house. So let's just take a look at this type of property. Um, what will be the monthly payment on something like this? So with a property like this, 799, 20% down payment, 30 year fix, 7.5% interest rate. We'll do the calculation, uh, no mortgage insurance, property taxes. So you're looking at $5,315 for um, a portion in Rockville. Now, if we go back to the other one, Okay, we go now back to this one. This is a brand new house, much bigger than the other one. So let's take a look at what would be the payment calculator uh, on this one. So we're gonna just change, adjust the interest rate slightly here. And then here you go. You had, you almost get $8,000 for this. And here are the numbers. So now what is it that you need to be making in order to live in the area of 
Rockville. Well, to live in Rockville is more affordable. You probably need to make half of what other people make in the other cities. It's about $297,000 in order to afford to buy a house in this area. Not too bad. It's actually a pretty good number. Uh, around this area, those, I will say, a $200,000 to $250,000 salary. It's not uncommon because it's the cost of living. It's, it's pretty high, and especially with inflation. So that would be a number that you will probably are going to need in order to live in this area. So now we're going to jump and go further north and we're going to go to Gaithersburg, North Potomac. OK, these are they they share the same zip code 20878 so that you can have an idea now to live in this area on North Potomac. My average sales price for last year came to be close to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Um, so I was trying to find a house that looks kind of like about the same, like same average price for last year. So let's take a look at this one. So this one is 20%. I'm going to uh, just change my interest rate because I wanted to reflect what can potentially be um, according to the most recent CPI news. So um, so now you have a 7.5%. 7 .7%. Um, you have six, almost $6,000. That's 629. Uh, um, you have your home insurance, three eleven a month. Now, HOA fees, you're probably going to be looking to be paying for some HOA fees uh, in the area, in that area. For the North Potomac area, you're probably looking between $800 and $1,200. The income needed for the North Potomac area, it's about $252,000 in order to afford a house in that area. Not too bad if you're looking to be in this area. Now, this is a little bit more secluded, more outside of the city, but it's super convenient to a lot of things. And now, if you've really been looking for to live really way out, out of the noise of the city, I left the last one, which it is Darnstown, Maryland. So I'm going to go to Darnstown, Maryland. And uh, Darnstown, Maryland has, uh, there's a lot of new construction. Those are big houses, big lots that are just all just, it's it's just really growing. And, it, and it's a lot more land available. Houses in Darnstown tend to be bigger and have more land. So in Darnstown for last year, uh, average sales price, it comes to be a $950,000 with an average down payment of $188,000. With your annual tax is about twelve thousand. Uh, home, uh, the HOA fee is about eleven $1 hundred. So, what is needed for that area, income-wise, it's three hundred and twenty-eight thousand dollars. So, Darnstown, the income that you're probably going to need, it's about three hundred and twenty-eight thousand dollars. But let's take a look at this one. This is a, a lot higher than uh, I couldn't find anything in that area that it is potentially of a good price. Um, that it has similar value. So we're going to do this one. Uh, it's going to use this one. It's, it's, it's a lot higher because it's just all what's available. And that just tells you what's really not available right now in the market. So uh, the price is about $11,000 about a month that you're going to be paying in that area. So uh, all you need to consider is about $328,000 will be probably your income that you're going to need in order to afford to live in that area. Yep, it is pretty expensive. I know it's not affordable, but this is the way just the market is and you have to deal with all those things. So if you're looking to make a move to the Maryland, D.C., Virginia area and you don't know where to start, feel free to click my uh, calendar link uh, below and just schedule a consultation with me. I'd be more than happy to, to go over the video call if you're coming from out of the area to talk about different things. I even have a relocation guide that you can also download and we can just take it from there. Remember, this is not about sales pressure, just education. So thank, thank you very much, everybody, for coming to this video. I hope I can see you on the next one. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.